الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد For sure the Muslims nowadays looking for the victory and nasr one of the problems and it is a big problem when we wait the victory to come from people where are the leaders where are the governments where are the, the, the troops and the armies of the Muslims and we forget that النصر من عند الله the victory Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَمَا النَّصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Nasr, the victory, comes from only one way. From where? From Allah. Not from the government, not from the leaders, no, no one can give you us, can give us the victory. It is only from Allah. But this doesn't mean we don't do anything. We should do. We have to do a lot. What is the situation of the Muslim Ummah nowadays? Of course, not all of them, but in many places. As we mentioned the khutbah, yeah, in one point, the Prophet ﷺ cursed the Yahud. قَاتَلَ اللَّهُ الْيَهُودِ Why? اتَّخَذُوا قُبُورَ أَنْبِيَاءِهِ مَسَاجِدْ They took the graves of their prophets as masajid. How many Muslims nowadays, they go to the graves and they worship Allah there, or they worship the graves? How many Muslims? And this is shirk billah when they worship the graves. Or when they invoke Allah there, this is bid'ah. How many Muslims? Maybe not thousands, maybe millions of Muslims. How many Muslims don't follow the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? You, you know the, the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that your dua will not be accepted if you are in a hurry. Yustajabu ahadikum. Allah will answer your dua if you are not in a hurry. So how many Muslims are, we are in a hurry in our dua? I made dua one day, two days, three days. Khalas, mark fighter, no use. This is a mistake and this is a sin. Allah will not answer this dua. Our job is to ask Allah. The answer, this is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To give us now, or after one day, or after ten years, or in paradise, this belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is my point? We need to purify our souls. We need to correct our actions and sayings. Because we, Allah, we, we should feel shame that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma ansar ukhwan muslim fi Gaza, Allahumma ansar ukhwan muslimin fi uh, this country, that country, this place, that place, and my money from riba. You, you, we have to feel shame. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know the famous hadith in Al-Qur'an Nawawiya, haram, 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 bil haram. His dress from haram. His food from haram. His drink from haram. وَغُوذِيَ His blood is full, his body full of haram. أَنَّهُ اسْتَجَابْ لَهُ How you expect the answer from Allah if you are fully from haram? This is, a, this is a big problem. Many Muslims don't like to hear this kind of talk. No, this is the main thing. This is the main thing. The main thing is we have to avoid sin. We have to boycott the sins. Before boycotting some products, subhanallah. Some, uh, yani in one masjid I found, you boycott this, this, this brand, this brand. What about boycotting the sin? We do not see someone who's pushing in the media to boycott cigarette. Why we don't see like something to boycott the cigarette? like boycotting McDonald's or Starbucks or these things. Of course, I don't mean you boycott or you don't boycott. But where is boycotting the sins? How many Muslims smoke cigarettes? It is haram. And it is harmful. Medically, it is harmful. Why we are not calling this? If you see someone now, 
going to Starbucks, ah, you are with the Yahud. Or if you buy something from this brand, you are killing a, an innocent child. And what about smoking cigarette, drinking khamar? This is halal? Is it halal to drink khamar? One of the major sins. Why we don't hear anyone calling to buy called the khamar? Muslims should wake up. Don't follow the media and everything. I don't say, I don't mean that everything in the media is wrong. For sure in the media there is Quran, there is Dua. But don't believe anything in the media. You should be careful. We should read from the Quran. There are, what is mentioned in the Quran? Clear proofs. No way to argue the Quran. But in dunya, yes, I can't argue. This is to support the Yahud, this is not to support I can't argue. But no one can argue the Quran. It is clear. The Yahud, our enemy. The Christians are our enemy. Also the Christians? Yes, also the Christians. Allah said, وَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ They will not be pleased with you until you, you follow their way. So this is from Quran. This is from Quran, not from me. So we need to work hard and harder to avoid and boycott the sins. What kind of sins we have? Some Muslims are doing major sins. Look during the, yani after two months. What is coming after two months? Rajab. How many Muslims doing bid'ah during 27th Rajab? They claim this is Isra al-Mi'raj. And 12th of Rabi'ah al-Awwal, Milad al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How many bid'ah in Muharram, the 10th of Muharram, Ashura. How many bid'ah and shirk. And during the year, who's talking about that? The mass, okay, majority of Muslims, they sh we should speak about the major sins to avoid. We should speak about the Tawheed because the only way to get the victory, hatta the Prophet told us, hatta tarji'u ladinikum, until we come back to our religion. What is our religion? The Quran and Sunnah. This is our religion. This is our religion. And this is our victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come back to the Quran and Sunnah. Do you know what is written in the Quran? I don't know. Because I don't know, understand Arabic. How Allah am busy to make money. I have a family, so I should make money for my family. You don't know the Quran? How can we help the innocent Palestinian people in Gaza? You can help them in different ways. Different ways. One of the main ways is to follow the Quran and Sunnah. Because when you read the Quran and Sunnah, you know who is your enemy and who is your friend. You know how to be a strong person. When we keep reading the Quran and Sunnah, understand, خلاص, I will not focus on the dunya. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, you know nowadays, how many Muslims in this country, this country, this country, the army here, why they are not moving their army to help the Muslims there in Iraq, in Syria, and in, in, in Palestine? The Prophet ﷺ gave us the answer. What is the answer? Antum yawma idhin kathir, walakinnakum ghutaka ghuta asayl. That day you are a lot. But what is the weight of the Muslim ummah, the Muslim groups? He said ghuta. You know the form, the filth on the top, the surface of the sea. What is the weight of that? What is the value? No value. What is the reason? حب الدنيا وكراهية الموت. Love of dunya and to hate death. What does it mean love dunya? My main concern is how to make money. Which country should I go? I go to that country, I go to this company, I should sh buy some shares here and there. Okay, we are writing something in the Facebook about Palestine, but my main concern is what? Dunya. Of course, not all Muslims. For sure, some Muslims spending most of their time for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is one of the main, this is the main problem. The Prophet gave us the diagnosis. 
Don't take the diagnosis from the media, from this uh, news channel. You take it from the Prophet ﷺ. He's the best doctor for us. What is the diagnosis? The heart here in dunya. We're speaking for a few minutes, for a few hours, then we forget. And we can notice now. Before one month, how was the Muslim Ummah and now? Why? Because he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a time will come, يُرَقِّقُ بَعْضُهَا بَعْضًا The trials, the fitna, the temptations, يُرَقِّقُ بَعْضُهَا بَعْضًا What is the meaning of that? There is a problem now. In Afghanistan, in Kuwait, in Palestine. طيب? It is a big problem, fitna. But after maybe one year, there is a bigger fitna, makes us to forget the previous one. Then after one year, a bigger, and we forget the previous two. Like that, subhanAllah. Now, if you, if you go back for maybe one year, check the news. How many problems in the Muslim Ummah? The Muslims are tortured there, in, for example, in India, it is not allowed the hijab, not allowed to enter the school, maybe killing some Muslims there in China, and uh, 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 you know, in some countries. But people forget why, because there is another problem to delete the previous one. To delete from our minds, not from the fact, not from the reality. So stick to the Quran and Sunnah, you will be safe. If you go away from the Quran and Sunnah, you will be in a very dangerous situation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our Muslims, brothers and sisters there in Palestine and everywhere. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the victory. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa from the Yahud. Jazakumullah khairan wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.